Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to upgrade Ailing T33Z firmware. Let's go and start the lab. But before I am going to start the lab, I want to show it to you the connectivity part. And I just want to give you some brief introduction about Ailing T33Z. So the Ailing T33Z by default is going to look like this one, guys. So whenever you want to upgrade the firmware, you must have a connectivity. So make sure that your PC should make a communicate directly with your Ailing phone. Otherwise, you cannot able to upgrade it. So right now, what I'm doing now, I'm going to upgrade the firmware manually. So to upgrade the manually, so right now I have connected my PC and my phone into the directly to the same network switch so that they have a reachability. And also behind the scenes, the DHCP is running in my router. So my router also is connected directly to my PoE switch. So the connectivity is like this one, guys. So I have a router here, which is my Dretec router. So the DHCP is running. So the network which is configured with 192.168.1.0 network. So the Dretec router IP address is, which is 1.1. So my PC is directly connected to my PoE switch as well as my phone is directly connected to my PoE switch so that they are going to get the IP address directly. So now if I want to know what IP address my phone is picked up. So to check that, you can see here there is a middle button over there, guys. Just press that button. Then after that, you can see what IP address he picked up. So the IP address which is picked by 192.168.1.14. That's the IP address which is taken from my DHCP server. Okay. Now if you want to check what IP address my IP my PC has got it. So just open the command prompt. Then type the IP address IP config. Then you can see here 1.13. So the IP address which is got it from my DHCP server, which is 1.13, 192.168.1.13. Now my PC and my IP phone both they are in the same network. And if you want to check the reachability, just open the command prompt in your PC and just type it here ping 192.168.1.14. Now you can see here there is a successful reachability. That is first step, guys. So before you are going to upgrade the firmware, make sure that your PC should make a communication with your phone. So that is first step. Then second step is that you need to download the firmware. So where you are going to get the download. So for that, just I'm going to stop my presentation. Just minimize this and open the browser and type here www.ailing.com. Then after that, the Ailing website is going to open for you. So once you log into the Ailing website, now you can see guys, there you can see support. So this is very important guys, because most of the people, they have some certain questions. Do you, re do you require any support contract? Or uh, do we need to have any agreement with the Ailing directly? No, you don't require any support contract or any agreement guys. So just go to the support. Then after that, click on support home. Then once you click on the support home, then you can able to see here the nice page which is going to show it to you. Then after that, go down. Then you can see here, Ailing has a huge portfolio guys. They have IP phones video conferencing devices and they have his devices which can support Microsoft and Zoom and they have a headsets and they have a smart workplace devices. There is a lot of devices. So since we want to download the IP phone firmware, so just click on IP phone. Then after that, you can see here all the models that you can able to see here, guys. Yeah, I just want to close this. Okay, then after that, you can just go down. So always on the licensing manager okay no issues thank you so much in case if i want to see these cookies just you can go down and say close here then after that you can see here just go down that i want to download the firmware for ailing t33z then you can see here there is a two variations are there the one is t33p and other one is t33z so just click on this phone then after that, you just go down and you can see here there is a document, firmware, tool and video. 
So in case if you want to learn more about this phone, just you can go to the document and you can just you know download it. In the document section, you can able to see the data sheets as well. So some of your partners or customers, if they are looking for the data sheets, you can just download it from here and share it with them. But right now I want to download the firmware. So click on the firmware. Then after that, you can see here the firmware. The good thing is that guys, they are going to give you the clear date and time on which date this firmware was released what is the latest update and in case if you want to download the old firmware so you can able to download it as well so right now this is the firmware which is latest that's why they are showing here new so just i need to click on here then after that i need to download this firmware so right now unfortunately i can see here the new firmware still not yet you know you can see here there is a new firmware and still you cannot see this link but you just click on here the hyperlink then after that you can see here there you can able to see it then after that click download then see here it's immediately start downloading guys so the firmware is 124.86.0.40 that is the firmware version then after that you try to open the browser and directly type the ip address here 192.168.1.14 that's the ip address of your ip phone and don't worry guys because i have installed the antivirus that's why i'm getting this message so click on show details then wish to continue then say yes then you can able to see the nice login page so right now it's showing that that you are going to log in the a link t33z the default username is admin and the default password is admin it's very important guys it's a small letters say login so once you log in here to upgrade the firmware right now you can see here the firmware version which is showing 124.85.0.15 but you can see here a 124.86.0.40 which is the latest version guys so for that you need to go to the settings inside the settings you can click on upgrade and after that you can see here there is upgrade just click on the browse then go to the, your download folders so this is the firmware that i'm going to upgrade it select that and click on open then click on upload then say okay now you can see here please wait and do not power it off and you cannot close or refresh the browser it's very important guys now the firmware is getting upgrading so i'm going to pause this video once it's done i'm going to show it to you the message in between if you want to check the status guys just what you can do just open the command prompt then after that you just keep continue ping so that you can able to see here yeah so still the firmware is upgrading is going on so it's going to take almost uh, yeah it's already done almost so yes the phone is getting rebooting guys then see here yes see i am i just lose my connectivity it's going to take less than two minutes guys you nothing to worry about it so right now i lost the connectivity so let's see that how much time is going to take to come back yes it got it back again so see here automatically you can find it out the login page again so go to the admin and type the password as admin now you can see here it's upgraded the latest firmware which is 124.86.0.40 so this is what how you are going to upgrade your a link ip phone guys which is t33z not only t33z whatever a link products are there you can upgrade it directly we can download the firmware from a link website and you can upload it directly so in case if you find any challenges or you are finding some difficulty please send us an email for sales related stuff sales at datawise.com for support you can send us an email support at datawise.com thank you for watching this video for uh, for more videos please subscribe our youtube channel thank you